February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2020. Just got done building a swarm trap, and there'll be a video on that I posted. And just wanted to kind of check on some of these hives here in the backyard. Haven't been through these hives in a while. Probably gonna go through them and just see what we got here. This hive over here has been extremely busy. They all have been really lately. It was pretty cold this morning. Not much was happening, but now they're out doing their thing. I got four hives right here. Got this double stacked, actually seven frame box. It's just something I played with the second year I had bees. And the bees do fine in it. They really don't care how wide the box is. Got these two triple stack nukes right here. Um, got this double deep over here. And then way over there, over across the trampoline, got a double deep. You see the swarm trap I just made up there above that. So, uh, let me go through these bees, spot check them a little bit, show you what's going on with them. Uh, let me get set up and we'll get started. I have the uh, tripod set up today so I can kind of use both hands, uh, see how this thing is. We'll just peek in on this one, see how it goes here. Got my smoker going, my hive tool. I'm going to try to go without gloves, but if they get feisty or mean with me, start stinging my hands, I'll put some gloves on. These bees right here, you can tell there's a lot of activity at the hive entrance. Uh, they're bringing in pollen, uh, mostly like a yellow color pollen. Uh, I can see a little bit of a kind of a light green type pollen maybe. Very busy. Um, not sure what the light green pollen is, but they're doing it. So this was the a hive that had, uh, had kind of been struggling for years. These are some seven frame boxes that I built, I think it was 2015 just as an experiment and the bees do like them fine but i've just kind of had this hive sitting here in this seven frame box since then and it's just kind of i don't think it ever died out it just kept kind of struggling and surviving but it just never did anything production wise so last year it was just kind of hanging on and i when i bought those pendel queens i think it was in late july i put one in here and there's a video of, of when she got released uh, since then the hive has been booming I haven't really gone through these hives in the backyard. It's been many weeks, maybe even months. I haven't been through them. I peeked in on them and done a little bit. I've added an extra box on these two over here just because they were busy, but I really haven't gone through them top to bottom in a while. And uh, But I want to peek in on this, this hive in particular today. I'll probably peek in on all of them, but this is the one I want to do the video on and just kind of show you how they're doing since uh, one of the other videos uh, shows me introducing the queen back in July. Or early August, so whenever that was. So let me smoke them a little bit in the front. I crack the top here. Smoke them a little bit. When I've peeked in, the bees have been. I'm um, really. I think it's pretty much packed with bees. Hope you'll be able to tell that from the. Now these bees, one of the reasons I bought them is they are uh, supposedly very gentle in nature. Hopefully this mic is working good. Supposedly gentle in nature and good producers of honey. Uh, supposedly they just have all the good qualities. They are Italian queens, uh, maybe even Italian Cordovan. They're pretty yellow bees. And uh, like I said, this thing was barely making it when I put that queen in here and now since I smoked them, a lot of the bees ran down in between uh, the frames, but there's a lot of a lot of bees in here, as you'll see in just a minute. So let's start on the outside frame. I kind of go back and forth when I do these videos of holding it in one hand or putting it on the tripod. Obviously, if I'm holding it in one hand, you can see it better. Um, but there's quite a few bees. This is in the top box. Let me kind of bring this over and hopefully you'll be able to see this. They, I did feed them last weekend and there is some, I don't know if it's nectar or sugar water up here. There are some things blooming though, but they're very strong. I do see some drones. See all the bees here. Um, There's a drone right there under my finger. The rest of them are just mostly worker bees. There's a few drones I see. 
this right here is all drone comb. The bees are on. See the kind of bullet shaped um, cells. I don't know if you can tell how shiny that is in some of the cells, but there is. It's probably some nectar coming in because it's just everything's earlier this year than usual. Remember, this is the outside frame, so it's not as probably as thick in bees as some of them will be. But uh, you see how calm they are? They're just great, doing great. So I, I would love to have all my hives be like this. I do have some that are much more feister aggressive than others. Last year when I started doing these videos, a lot of people told me they talked about taking the outside frame first and so it makes sense I try to do that although I have occasionally seen the queen on the outside frame but the idea behind that is that she's more likely going to be in the center of the uh, brood space uh, and you'll be less likely to injure her or kill her uh, taking the outside frame out first then it creates room so you can move the frames this way a little bit this frame right here it's just see all you can just probably tell from the from that distance all the bees on here and here's a really nice breed pattern so this hive is about to absolutely be explode and I hope they don't snap into swarm mode everything's just too early around here this year earlier than usual so let me show you what we got here okay all this right here is brood really nice breed pattern up in this corner a little bit of pollen if you can see it right in these cells up here around the edge they're putting in nectar that white wax indicates they're growing they're putting down wax um, really nice frame of bees right here if you see some of the big I'm gonna kind of run it if you see some kind of big fat uh, looking bees kind of bulky looking square shaped bees with the big eyes I can't tell what you can see on the camera there's one right there I think kind of in the middle those are drones, which means we're getting close to swarm season. Up around the edge, there's a few drones. Big, bulky looking bees. Oh, that was good. I just notched my camera. Get it lined back up here. Hopefully that's lined back up how it needs to be. Okay, so I've seen brood. I've seen lots of bees. And I probably won't show you every frame because I don't want this to be the eternal video. But once again, this frame is covered with bees and it is probably 90 to 95% solid brood. Not sure if you can tell, but it is. And there's quite a few drones on here. So, and you could probably tell better on this side all the brood. It's just a really nice brood pattern. I'm really pleased with this queen at this point. My goal today is to kind of peek in and go through these hives and treat for mites. Um, this is a frame of yellow foundation or maybe wax foundation that I had in here and they've pretty much drawn it out with comb. Don't really see a lot of eggs or nectar. They may have just got it drawn out. There might be some eggs in there. I really don't see much going on but there is some nectar up around the edges. So you come what that fresh comb looks like. Not tons of bees on here, but it's that nice fresh comb. And this right here is wax foundation. Um, I don't use that much anymore, but it's an old, I guess it's an old frame of that that I had and put in there last year. Up around here is the white wax they're just putting down. Beautiful, beautiful hive. Um, I imagine if there are not eggs in there now, there will be very soon. Because I think this queen is just filling this thing up as quick as she can. Love to see the queen, but I'm not going to really spend too much time looking for her. This frame has, um, it's got eggs in it, got some pollen. Let's get lots of bees. Oh, there's the queen. I hope I can show her to you. I don't know how it's going to work. Let me try and point her out to you here. She is right here. The green dot. 
right over here to the right side of the screen, there she is, kind of towards the middle now. See the green dot? That's the queen. Beautiful, big uh, yellow queen, Italian Cordovan queen. And it's probably, I don't know if you can see, probably not, but there are eggs in some of those cells. Seen the queen, seen eggs, larva brood. Um, I could actually probably go ahead and split this thing. I just, this time of the year around here, everything is a little ahead of schedule, but you just don't know what you're going to run into. Are we going to have another cold snap? Do we want to be trying to split a hive or make queens if we're going to have a cold snap and, you know, keep the drones from flying and the queens not get mated well? I'm just a little bit stumped as to what to do. If I don't do any splits this weekend, I probably will do some next weekend. Okay, let me take this off. We'll speak in that bottom box. I'm assuming it looks a lot the same. Oh, that box is heavy. I don't know if you can tell. Just tons of bees right here. I'm going to take out two or three frames, see how thick the brute is. You remember, rule of thumb that I've heard, if... Uh, for every frame of brood, you get two frames of bees. So if they are capped, you're within a couple of weeks at most of the capped brood hatching. And so in other words, it's gonna fill up with bees very, very quickly. I may actually see about, may do a little split out of that. Oops, I just put my finger on one. She got me good. Ah, sorry, little bee. Okay, not much going on in this frame. It's, it is drawn comb, but there's not really any little honey but nothing else much mm, that's smart she got me right on a nerve i guess in my thumb mm, got the stinger out yikes they're not feisty at all really there's a little brood right here some larva okay but the next frame over It's going to be pretty much solid brood, I think. So, you know, we're looking in at 14 frames of bees. Well, looks like it's solid brood around the edges. And she's relayed, and there's some larvae in there. Um, yeah, there's eggs there too. So, I really don't need to see much else. Pretty satisfied with the results here. Our goal today is to uh, just peek in these hives and treat for mites. But I just think the hives around here are, you know, there's already been swarms reported. Friends of mine have been catching swarms. They've been swarms moving into homes, into trees, and it's only the middle of February. And I think it usually starts a little bit about now, but everything's just early this year, I think. So, let me close this thing up. Lots of, lots of activity, lots of bees, looking really good. All right, got this one done. May peek in another hive or two here real quick, depending on how long this video is. I don't want you guys to, I don't want to do a 20 minute video really, but just thought I'd show you. I might hold the next one I do in one hand so you can see a little closer uh, what's going on. Let me get set up for another one and uh, we'll do that. This hive is back in the corner of my yard. It's a double deep. It's been here now for a while. Last year I did a video on it, uh, a couple of videos on it. Um, I haven't been in it in a long time either. I'm just gonna hold this uh, camera right here in this hand uh, while I do it so you can kind of see more close up what's going on. Maybe they won't be too nasty with me. They're usually not too bad. 
they're not looking super impressive right now, to be quite honest. No idea what we're going to find. I like, like I was saying before, I don't have any idea what's going on in these hives. Last year I did a, what I called a modified tearing off split on this hive and they bounced back. There's not enough bees up here to worry too much about going right on the edge. I hope it's okay. I hope we don't lose them. You know, normally the bit, most of the bees are building up, but one of the things I've noticed about beekeeping over the years is that they all seem to have their own personality and build up at different rates. We've got some honey right here, nothing else really going on. Hmm. Ah, dang it. I got stung in that dang thumb again. Maybe they smell the pheromone from my thumb over that smoke a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Got me right there on the tip of my thumb earlier. Not going to spend much time in this hive for a couple reasons. I just don't want to bug them too much. Obviously, this hive is not ready to split right now. I'm not too worried about them. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. Unless I find swarm cells or something in here, but let's just see if we see something going on in this. Oh, well, that was a good idea. Not. One sting in my finger, but see the brood in there? It doesn't look super healthy, but there is some larva and brood in there. You know, I'm a little concerned about this hive. I'm not sure they're doing all that well. Yikes. Got me good. And they are a little bit more cranky than usual, it seems like. Let me turn the camera off. I'm going to get down to the bottom box and see what we got. I may put some gloves on as well. I'm just going to turn this off for a couple minutes. Well, I found the queen. She's right in the middle of the screen right there. Um, so she is in here. Something's just not quite right about this hive. I think the best thing to do right now would be to put her, to put this hive in a small, like even in a nuke. Just let them try to build back up. I think they've just got too much space right now. That's probably what I'm going to do. So what I've done is I've reduced them down to a nuke. Still not tons of bees, as you can see. So I've got this frame of brood from the previous hive we were in. I'm going to stick it in there. And as these bees hatch out, hopefully it will strengthen the hive. And I'm also going to feed them. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, they may, may or may not make it. Uh, they may just decide to blow it out here soon. I don't know. But I thought I'd give them a little boost here. And I'll uh, be sure I feed them as well. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm sure it's getting a little bit long. Um, I appreciate you watching the channel. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. It's become more of a vlog uh, than anything else. But uh, it's just kind of my experience with bees. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you continue to watch the videos. And uh, on to the next video.